At age 100, Benita Willibur still has a healthy mind, body, and spirit. I've given myself to the Lord, and I've left myself in His hands, and I have trust, and I have been very, very well taken care of. She's not alone. There's an unusually high concentration of centenarians in her hometown of Loma Linda, California. It's one of only five so-called blue zones worldwide, areas where people live the longest. The others are Okinawa, Japan, Korea, Greece, Sardinia, Italy, and Nicoya, Costa Rica. Loma Linda is an hour east of Los Angeles. About a quarter million people live here. The reason they're so healthy is because most of them are Seventh-day Adventists. On average, they live 10 years longer than most Americans. Dr. Larry Beeson has researched this phenomena for the last 50 years. Adventists have approximately the same proportion of the people who die of cancer, or heart disease, or stroke, but the age that they get diagnosed is much later. They strongly adhere to the belief of respecting the human body as a temple of the Holy Spirit. That means no alcohol, no tobacco, and following a plant-based diet. In Christianity, we have the Holy Scriptures. What God said from the beginning, you should eat. He gave us the nuts and the grains and the herbs that he placed in the, in the earth. And he said, you will do better if you, if you subsist on that type of thing. What has your diet been throughout your life? Vegetables. Um, my sister liked fruit. Well, I do too. But vegetables had priority. And I like them raw. Many Adventists, like Benita, are total vegetarians. Others will eat a little dairy, while some occasionally consume fish, and there are those who eat small amounts of poultry and beef. These choices lead to different health outcomes. The more flesh foods you eat, the more Alzheimer's, the more heart disease, the more cancer, uh, the earlier the death occurs. Where going the other direction as people move toward the removing uh, flesh food from the diet, there tends to be a delay in the onset of the diseases. Diet isn't the only factor in these longer lives. Seventh-day Adventists strictly observe the Sabbath. Every Saturday, they rest to recuperate from the week and recharge for the one ahead. Also, to spend time with friends, family, and God. Stuart Hardy, who pastors one of the world's largest congregations, says resting on the Sabbath includes abstaining from electronics. Any of those things that kind of take you back into work, you try and avoid those things. Now, it's not like it's a rule, but when you think about it, if there's anything that you're involved in during the week, if you go back to that, then you're not really taking a break from it. I feel that rest is one of the most important things in aging. That if you rest, then you can get up and gallop. Medical research confirms stress kills. Science has always kind of had some kind of tension with religion, particularly in contemporary society. So it's, it's great to be able to read something in the scriptures that suggests what we should do, and then science is not only affirming it, but even giving us more specific understanding of why it benefits us so much. Exercise is also a priority. Throughout her life, Benita was extremely active. Now she only has the strength to walk, which she does every day. It is uh, subsiding, and that's the way God had intended for people to be, and so I accept that too, even though I don't like it. <laughs> Adventists are able to stick to their healthy lifestyle because they're surrounded by others living the same way. My mother used to keep us in the straight and narrow way <laughs> by saying, now be careful with the company you keep. So look to the Seventh-day Adventists, who live an average of 10 years longer than the rest of us. They exercise and observe the Sabbath. They avoid alcohol, tobacco, and meat, all within a social network that reinforces that behavior. Lori Johnson, CBN News.